Hey guys, this is Edward here from Bricks Maven. In this video, I will be showcasing and exploring the dark mode feature that just got released in the new uh, version of Core, which is 1.2. There have already been some minor fixes already, um, but the most important thing that I want to showcase here is the dark mode. So basically to enable dark mode, you just need to um, activate it in your uh, color preference, color palette here. So by just switching on dark mode, it's already enabled. It's very easy to do. So let's just jump in and show you guys here. I've already enabled them. You just need to open up whichever color you want to uh, enable it for. And just enable it or in this case I disabled it or enable it so you can see that it already generates the darker color for it so that you can preview it here which is awesome furthermore there have been some new class have been added let me just go back here here are a list of classes here that have been added but it also added, which I saw is a background section. So it has variables as the BG body and the BG surface. I added the BG body reverse for cases where this is needed. And for the text, they added text body and text title, but I also added reverse. So um, there may be situations where uh, I might need a reverse. So yeah, I created them. And we decorate, they also added the base, uh, the base section to it, which has the body primary and shadow primary and neutral and status we already had. So this is uh, what we can, what can be found under, under the colors. So as we have enabled the dark mode, you can actually choose your preference. So you can choose if you want to have the light or dark as default. You can also set it to auto. If you do set it to auto, it will automatically automatically uh, take on your uh, system setting. So if you're on Windows or whatever system you are, if you are if you set it to dark mode, the website will automatically display in dark mode. If it's light mode, it automatically display in light mode. But here I just set it to light, so that's that. Let me just save. Okay, let's just dive in to an example. Or oh, one more thing I have to say. There are there are three ways to switch to dark mode. You can do it through the front end, which um, Core Framework has created a toggle in the builder. They created an element that allows you to toggle between light and dark mode we have a class a cf team dark which can be added to your html root element and we have the team inverted class which can be added to a specific section if you only desire to change that specific section but we're going to go through all three examples so i can show you guys except the cf dark this the 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 class that needs to be added to the html root element i cannot show that because in bricks I, um, or less maybe if you're uh, versed with and good with JavaScript, you can maybe like in, in, in insert it into the HTML root element, but I don't have that knowledge. So I'll just show you guys a different way just through the console. But let's just first look at the first um, way to do this. So here we are with a block that is from the Bricks Maven Alpha library. If you've noticed, there is also a toggle here, which you can preview the dark mode. So by clicking it, you can see this dark, this light, dark, light. So as you can see, the template, uh, the block automatically adapts to the light and dark mode. And the, the way that I set this up was to go to the, I have a team styles. And I basically, on the typography settings, I added the var text body. 
and I also added the var text title, which you can see here. And on the general, on the side background, I added the BG body because the blocks themselves do not have background, at least most, um, a great percentage of the blocks do not have a background. So let that be said. So it makes it easier to use this. So as you can see, that's the way I set it up. I did not add it directly to the class. There are some instances, some blocks where I did add to like add a specific, let's say the dark uh, variable dark color variable because the background goes white in both light and dark mode so the color has to stay the same so there will, there will be exceptions obviously where you need to do things differently but the default you i just left everything to the core framework that um yeah it just handles the switch into light and dark mode so this is the first way to do this the second way we can do this is let me save let me just go to the front and that was, let's say, a using core framework outside of Bricks. On the HTML root here, you see HTML, you can see the class here. It's set to light. If I set this to dark, then you see it changes. Obviously, if you're using this outside of Bricks, you should have some way of doing this automatically, also using a toggle, obviously. That would just make your life easier. So that's the second way of doing it. The third way of doing it is actually, let's go and see, is adding the toggle. So let me just go to the toggle. No, let me just switch here. Toggle. Let's just add it. Oh, there it is. I'll just put it on top of the, just here, the side. Maybe, wait, let me just wrap that in a block. Yeah, center. Cool. Save that. And there we can switch. So basically you add this like to your header and you can just switch this on and off, which is super cool. Right. Okay. And I'll show you the third way of doing this. Maybe we don't need this anymore. And I will need another block. So um, let's add another block to this um, support images. Let me just insert this one. We can use this. So I will have two examples. So now, if I switch this to dark and, and light mode, I mean dark mode, you see both change, right? But there might be a situation where you say, hey, I only want one section to be inverted so we basically just add a class team inverted to the block and you're like oh where is the what happened to the title well let me just add to the hero like I said the, the sections do not have a background so let me just add that BG background to it here. As you can see, it's switched. And now you're saying, hey, what happened to your text? It's not switching. I just recently sent David a message because the team inverted class was not working uh, correctly. They made some fixes, but now I have to test it some more. I found out that the text does not automatically switch. So I've already sent them a message and they might, they will fix it as soon as possible. They're actually pretty quick with the fix. So I expect this to also be fixed pretty quickly. And as you can see, um, it should actually, let me just remove it real quick. It should actually behave like this, right? So that will be the third way of doing this. So let me just put that back and let's just view this on the front end. Okay. Save. And as you can see, only this section is is affected and this one is normal so if you have like multiple blocks on the page you can say hey i just want a specific block or multiple sections to have a um, inverted uh the inverted class and you can just add it to the section okay so to finish off the example let me just remove all this stuff because 
this is a block used by users that are using this library so I don't want them to see all this I don't need to see all this so I think everything is back to normal okay let's save let us actually go go and build let's just build out a layout real quick so I can show you guys how this works so we have we need a header something simple so we have our header here let me just add the the, the toggle team toggle real quick so there it is that's all we need so now we need a hero section let me search out a cool hero section real quick yeah I think I can do something yeah just add this one let's just create a quick landing page yeah obviously it will not normally not have a header but now it does uh, let me see the next one would be content let's add a content section real quick let me import images insert there we go let me add a feature section to the page. Just choose one that is good for images. There we go. And I think we need some more. Maybe another content section. Let's see. Um, I think I'll go for this one okay so we have this one and then we can end with a uh, call to action section um, yeah call to action which one let's go for this one call to action and then we end with a sorry we end with a footer footer Let's add a footer to the mix. Okay, so there we have our whole page. Basically, we can just save and I can just move to the front end. And this is our page. And you might be wondering okay, we have a whole page set up, it's all tailored to work with the core framework. As you can see, it's uh, fully responsive right all the blocks are responsive so if you're looking to set up a quick page or quickly wireframe things this is the library for you so let's play with the what we all came here to play with the dark mode so if i switch to dark mode as you can see everything changes obviously colors can be tweaked uh, things that are not you might not like you know like this this dark color is not really working so I might go in and tweak it a little bit right so that's a little bit more uh, the contrast is very bad here right because yeah <laughs> this cannot this might even give some people some eye problems but anyways as you can see I just switched that color and everywhere my whole page is changed I switch back right and so you might be saying um, yeah what if I change my colors that is not a problem just go to colors we go to something yeah, maybe open something like this and then I just switch this back and forth so that it regenerates my colors I save and we just go back we refresh and there you have it obviously I can change the grays I can change the background I can change the text color right and let's switch this back to dark mode even though this color works a little bit better well it's as you can see it depends on the kind of color you're using but as you can see this is basically how it works with the core framework really 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 easy to use obviously if you do not have the bricks add-on you cannot use the toggle so you you will have to use the, the, the yeah you have to use the, the 
the class team inverted or uh, actually just get the bricks add on to make your life much easier but as you can see this is really cool and uh, yeah thank you for watching I hope it was clear if you have any questions let me hear it and I hope to uh, see you guys in the next video have a nice day oh and if you do not got yourself the bricks maven alpha 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 library for core framework you can visit bricksmaven.com and get it there you can find more information in the in the video description see you guys i will see you guys in the next video have a nice day bye bye